Everybody, welcome back to Atomic Hillbilly Garage. Today we are in Central Tennessee and we just left the preview of an online auction, right? So if you've watched my videos in the past, we did an online auction for a Mopar dealership that was in Arkansas. Kind of got screwed, right? We bid on some stuff and somebody stole some of our stuff. So I'm a little gun shy about these things, but regardless, went there, they got Mopars, they got Mopar parts, and the auction company that's putting it on don't know nothing about the cars so stick around you're going to see some really cool stuff and some really stupid stuff check it out um, i stopped by okay we need to get registered Get this bin. Oh my God. Morning. This is a Vico car. Yeah, my light. It's better with it. You guys part of the auction team? I am. So what's with all the new stuff? Is it going with the GTX or no, what? it's going by a lot by itself with the pile there and the pile in here. If you want me to show you exactly what Sure. From the clutch and pressure plate. Yep. Over to here, right, all this standing up, over to right here. Right there, steering wheel, around, not the, not the creeper, but all the new car parts, all going in one lot right here. And Get the rest that of lot right number. here, I'll show you. Uh, Okay, so do we know what this stuff is or no? no? That's why we have preview today. Okay, I mean that goes with the GTX right there, that uh, bumper. I'm sure there's a lot of parts here to go with the yeah. trolleys around here, but yeah. not sell it with yeah. here and I'll show you the rest of the parts sure. here to go with that. From right here, from right here down, all these right here go with what's outside there. 
Okay. So this is part of that lot. Okay. So when you buy, you whatever that lot number is on it, and you buy it, you get this. Yeah. Now, now let me ask you this, and this just speaking from bad experience. <laughs> I did one of these before, and by the time I got there, some of my stuff got stolen, and the auctioneer didn't do anything about it. I can't. So I mean, are we going to keep this under kind of lock and was key? Was it sale? No, it was an online sale. Yeah. I can, no, it's not going to be under lock and key, but because these doors are about ready to fall down, I can have a hard time getting them open closed, but they've been here for, I don't know how long. Yeah. No, well, I, I mean. But now you got a million people in here. Um, so, I mean, is there going to be somebody on site kind of watching this stuff? or Not until not really. pickup. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, not until pickup time. I gotcha. Okay. Now, these parts are here go with this. So, that's all car. part of the GTX. Yeah, that go with the green car. And the engine back there. And the front end piece goes with the green car and the rear end lands inside it. So this, I mean, just for your information, this goes with the orange car. Yeah. This this particular piece is for the orange car, not the GTX. Mm -hmm. So that really needs to be put with the with the orange car. Well, it's in the picture. Really? This stuff, so. Man, that's. <laughs> so you get what goes with the orange car, you get by the green car? <laughs> yeah, I'll <laughs> just buy them all and you have just buy them all right on just buy them all frustrates me. Look here. This is legit. Nothing in it. Yeah. I see he's got these seats back here. These guys don't have a clue. Yep. Uh, trunk pan. That's good. gonna get 71 charger 72 charger stuff here yeah these guys don't have a clue nice grill in it some more questions for you there's stuff back in like back in behind but there's nothing saying it's a lot number there's bucket seats and stuff back in there can I show you I mean, are they liquidating everything here? No. No? I mean, as of right now, no. I know what you're talking about back around the corner back in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, I mean, there's motors and... They're in the, oh, 
yeah, the motors I see got tag numbers on them, but you know, again, I mean, like that bumper, those bucket seats back in there. There's glass in there. I guarantee it's for one of these cars. Probably. Uh, the radiator. You know, there's miscellaneous stuff. So you don't. I mean, this hood is actually. Uh, well, should be going with that car right there, but. The orange one. That one's got a hood on it, but that hood should be. Is this getting sold? Here's a damn Cherry 70 Coronet passenger fender. In another shop all by itself with no tag on it. Or the tail panel. One side's a little hokey, but just the one side. So I suspect the driver's quarter's probably been replaced at some point in its life. Yeah, that's, that's a bummer. No wind plate on that thing. Where's the VIN tag for this car? I, what you say is what you get. I have no idea. I mean, is that advertised that that car don't have a VIN? Uh, whatever. It that says makes online. that very difficult. Whatever it says online is all I can tell you. I didn't put it online, but I'm the one doing it. Some new seat foams, at least for one seat. New headliner. Thanks, man. You too. Brakes. nest oh no it's styrofoam there's four speed pedals bumper brackets I don't know what this is tail lights are your tail lights for what it says on the box you find me a brown recluse for I'm done front side marker road runner it's a 70 GTX brand new Grill and headlight bezels. I'm assuming that's the grill that's down in there along with the headlight bezels. Brand new package tray. Two package tray. Oh, that's rear seat divider. Gas tank. That bumper. This, this is brand new fuel lines. Rear bumper in there for something. 70 Roadrunner. That's a rear bumper, 70 Roadrunner. Two wood grain steering wheels. Front end, front suspension kit. I can't tell what that is in that box. I'm gonna come right through there. This is fuel pump, brand new side marker. This shit's just crazy. Radiator, fan shroud. Man, I'm frustrated. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. Yes, that's all this stuff. Not the paint roll, the t paper roll. Okay. I took a picture of this but, lot 90 and this, in case you want, if it goes for five or 10 bucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, if it's there when you come back to get it. Yeah. So center cap one, center cap. That's brand new, a repop. Uh, it's in an NLS box anyway. Door panels. Those are probably for the GTX. Firewall kit. Did he say this is part of lot 115? Or yes. This goes with the green car? No, this is all part of 115. That goes with part. the green car. 
There's a mystery dash. This don't go to anything here. I don't know what that is. Yeah, you're funny. Oh, <laughs> Holly. I don't know. It's a Holly carburetor box. I don't know. Spot up that shifter. It's already re chromed. Oh, brand new Holly six pack carburetors in there. Yep. So these are reproduction six pack two barrel carburetors. There's a whole set of them in here. Yep. Yeah, that's that's six pack. I guarantee that was intended for right there. Brand new four speed council. <clears throat> Rear package tray, H pipe exhaust. Who knows where the rest of it's at? So yeah, it'd be nice to know what the VIN was on that GTX if that's a six pack car. Because if that's a six pack air grabber four speed car, but we need a VIN. So I know I'm probably driving you insane, but <laughs> that's what I'm here for. There's a fender in that so barn anything there. Anything that's not got a tag on it, it had to be dealt with come pickup day, and I'm gonna talk to him about that too, to okay. see what he wants to do with okay. it. Okay. Uh, I've, I've had a dozen in people it. already asked about that yeah. and other things around. It. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd be very interested in that. I've had people tell Essentially, me. Essentially, that goes with that car that's up in the probably does. Yeah. Shed that's what there, I've but, been told too. Yeah. Um, I've had four or five different ones make me offers on uh, hood back there yeah, and yeah. seats and yeah. trim and yeah. I'm not sure what all. Yeah, but we're not gonna play any money games till pickup day? I don't know how it's gonna work because I mean, it wouldn't put an auction, so. Right, well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, if you're taking offers, um, but yeah, I'd be interested in that hood back there too. Them bucket seats back there. If you want to, is there a chance you'll add lots before? No, no, no. no it being weekend, it's hard to do that. Yeah. The girl that does that yeah. at the office, is, she works five days a week. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to get her to crunch time. Yeah. But yeah. if you want to, if you want to write down um, something on what you want to give for some of that stuff, you can give it to me before you leave. I'll phone number and all, and I'll see what I can do. Okay. Thirty-eight twenty-seven six sixteen part number on that radiator says it's a seventy Roadrunner. But you don't know if it's any good. Doesn't matter. That's the sequential number from the VIN, which should match the VIN. So that's One hidden underneath the trunk seal. Four, four sixty. 
which is what the VIN is on this car. So that, that matches, that quarter's never been replaced anyways. Because that's a 133460. That was really for when you said numbers match. Well, all the body numbers match. Not the motor, unfortunately. I haven't found the motor. All right, guys, so just a follow-up with the auction, right? So I uh, didn't buy anything. I did bid on the 1970 Dodge Charger, uh, which I think maybe was an RT. We never verified that through the VIN, but regardless, didn't buy anything. So just kind of a scenario, right? A lot of people have buyer's remorse, right? After they buy something, they kind of regret it. And I dealt with non-buyer's remorse, essentially, basically, right? So, because I didn't buy anything after the sale ended that night, the next day, a couple days after, I just kept thinking what I should have done, right? And um, so a friend of mine actually hooked me up with the auction, uh, same buddy that owns the shop where I keep my truck and stuff. And so he told me about the auction. He was interested in the 1970 GTX. Now, the GTX uh, was the least car that I was interested in overall simply because they never verified the VIN that they had it, what the VIN was. Was it a real GTX? Was it a you know six-pack car? Was it a Hemi car? I have no clue, right? They never did supply the VIN uh, number or the VIN tag itself uh, up until supposedly after the auction ended. But regardless... So the GTX, and, and so me and my buddy, uh, we were on the phone with each other for the last 45 minutes or so of the auction. And again, my buddy was interested in the GTX. I was going to focus on either the 70 RT Coronet or the 70 Charger. And after I looked at them for a while, I decided I'm going to focus my energy on the Charger because uh, it's one of my favorite cars anyways. And it was nowhere near as rough as the RT was. The RT was a major project, but a rare car because it was a true six-pack car. So as the auctions kind of wound down and the way these things did, right, they were um, sequential, I guess, if you will, where it was like the 73 or 4 Charger was ending first, then the GTX, then the RT, then the Charger, and then scattered throughout some of the other remaining auctions was the parts and the big parts lots and the little parts lots 
and the miscellaneous lots that had you know some parts in it so um but the way it did is it was what they call a soft close auction right so anybody that bid on an item with less than two minutes remaining it reset the clock so what I had done is I placed all the items I was interested in in my own little private folder so I could monitor strictly the items that I was interested in. However, as they ended, you know, where maybe this car would have ended first, all of a sudden it jumped up, you know, and this one moved. So they were kind of moving around, but at the end of the day, when it was all over with and done, they did wind up pretty much ending the same way they would have had it not been a soft close auction. Um, but what happened again my buddy stayed on the phone with me till the gtx got around 10 grand and he just said that's it i'm checking out i'm, I'm not interested in and i didn't have enough time to really kind of reset my thinking strategy on everything right so so my non-buyer's remorse is i wish i would have bought everything i wish i would have at least tried to buy everything you can't guarantee how much the other guy on the other end of the internet is willing to bid on anything or when he's going to stop either so the GTX body itself sold for about 10 grand. And again, we have 10% buyer's premium on all this, so you're looking at 11 grand for the body essentially. The parts lot that contained most of the GTX parts sold for around 6500 bucks. So again, you're in the 7 grands on that. The RT Coronet, it sold for around uh I think close to 14,000 and the 70 charger it sold for somewhere around 16 17 grand somewhere in there and again this is all before your buyer's premium so the parts lot with most of the parts in it it sold for about 6500 bucks so you know all in if you'd have bought all the cars not counting the 73 74 charger the three primary cars that i was interested in and all the parts that were needed to go along with those cars. I think we would have wound up with about $60,000 spent. Big money, right? Uh, there's a strong chance if I would have bought it all, I would have had buyer's remorse the next day after spending that much money. But my thinking afterwards was that I should have uh, bought all three, bought the parts that were, you know, that went along for the ride with them or that belonged to those cars. Got them all back to the shop and put everything together the right way that it was supposed to be and really sat and gave it some time and inspected everything and really truly decided which one do I really truly want to keep which again I think would have been the 70 charger so I would have sold off the GTX I would have sold off the RT Coronet and kept the 70 charger and so my non-buyer's remorse was had I bought everything at let's say 60 grand sold everything that didn't belong to the charger which wasn't much the charger was pretty much all together it didn't have a power training but who cares and uh how much of that 60 grand could i have recouped and would i've gotten the charger at the end of the day cheaper by doing that and flipping these things to make the money so regardless uh you know it was it was fun it was frustrating i was probably a bigger idiot than i should have been with the auctioneers um but I just got really frustrated at them that they had everything mix matched and they didn't have a clue and they didn't care. Honestly, they didn't care. They sold the real estate. So they made their bread and butter off of that. And they were amazed at what the cars were doing uh, just at the, at the um, what do we call it? The preview, right? When we went to the preview, they were talking about, oh man, somebody offered me like 500 bucks for that hood. I was ready to throw it in a scrap pile. So they were absolutely clueless as to the value of these cars and the parts. So I'm sure they were thrilled beyond belief with what the cars brought regardless. But I do think that uh, had everything been a little more organized and uh, the VIN on the, on the uh, GTX uh, at least there or let you know what it was to verify, you know, again, is it a six pack, is it an Emmy? Um, I think they would have probably done a little better, but yeah, whatever. So that's it, really just kind of wanted to follow up on the auction and, um, you know, what what transpired there. So uh, cool stuff, but at the end of the day, no matter what it was, no matter what I spent, no matter what I bought, it was going to wind up piled up in the shop, more money tied up, just sitting there. So I'm glad I didn't, right? At the end of the day, I'm glad I didn't. I need to focus my energy and my money on my truck, which... We're going to get back on. I know I keep saying it, but man, it's been crazy for 
everybody and my welder primarily so anyways guys stick around thanks for watching if you haven't done so yet please like comment subscribe share hit that notification button do all that fun stuff for me to continue to help to make my channel a success i'm gonna get a little more active on uh youtube so watch for upcoming videos guys see you real soon